Hey there, and welcome to, well, your own personal deep dive. Oh, got oh, that new oh, iPhone 16, right? Oh, so a... Maybe haven't even taken it out of the box yet. Still got that plastic on it. Exactly, that new phone smell. But today we're gonna make sure this is the smoothest, like absolutely seamless data transfer you've ever done. Yeah, none of that new phone who dis business. Oh, we're talking contacts, photos, everything, getting it all moved over like magic. You got it. And you know, you sent in some really, um interesting notes about what you want to make sure goes smoothly and we're here to break it all down i love it when listeners are proactive absolutely so you're already ahead of the game thinking about this before you're sitting there phone's dead and you just want to dive into that new phone excitement exactly preparation is key my friend okay so walk me through this what's step one in this whole digital adventure all right so first things first you got to have that apple id and password ready to go of course yeah. it's like the keys to the kingdom you know your digital kingdom. That's always the thing, right? I swear I know it, but then they ask for it and I'm like... Every single time. Every time. Okay, anything else we need to gather before we even like touch the new phone? Yeah, it's smart to round up any other logins you use regularly. Yeah. Email, social media, you know, all that good stuff. Okay, it makes sense. Because the last thing you want is to be stuck trying to remember your like 10-year-old Gmail password. Oh, been there. Right. While your shiny new phone is just sitting there. The worst. Okay, so logins, check. What's next? The big moment. Are we turning it on? We're doing it. This is where the magic happens. The setup process on the iPhone 16 is mm -hmm. honestly really intuitive. They've made it pretty straightforward. Okay, good to know. You're actually going to be putting your old and new phones physically close together for part of this. Interesting. Yeah. I will keep that in mind. Now, in your notes, you specifically mentioned wanting to make sure you get those transfer options right. Right because you can either transfer directly from your old phone or you can use that iCloud backup for a minute. You got it. Let's break those down a little bit. Okay, yeah. So direct transfer, it's pretty much as simple as it sounds. All your data is going straight from your old phone to your new phone. Easy piece. Usually it's the fastest way to do it, especially if you've got a ton of photos and videos. Gotcha. Huge files. So if I'm all about speed direct transfer, that's my best bet. Most likely, yes. Yeah. Um, but there is one thing. It does require both phones to be, you know, physically there and working. Okay, that makes sense. You can't really transfer from a phone that won't turn on, right? Right, exactly. What about the iCloud option then? What's the advantage of doing it that way? So with iCloud, it's all about flexibility. Hmm. You're basically restoring your new phone from a previous backup that you've you know, saved in the cloud. So it was like a, like a digital safety deposit box. So I was going to say, yeah, like a digital safety deposit box. Okay, so all my stuff is just chilling in the cloud. Exactly. And it's safe and secure. Okay, what's the trade-off? It's got to be the speed, right? Got it. Super convenient, but the speed, yeah, it really depends on your internet connection and how much storage we're talking about. Fast Wi-Fi is definitely your friend here. Makes sense. So direct transfer for speed demons, iCloud for the cloud lovers. I've also noticed you highlighted a section about transferring your eSIM. And now, can you remind me what an eSIM even is? Oh, of course. So basically, it's like your phone number went digital. So okay. instead of having that little physical SIM card, your phone number is linked to your iPhone electronically. Ah. And the best part, you can activate a new phone plan without even needing a physical card. That is pretty neat. Pretty cool, right? So we're transferring that during this initial setup. You have the option to. You can totally do it right then and there. And the instructions are like super easy to follow. Okay. However, if you'd rather not, you can skip that step and set it up later in your phone settings. No, options. I like it. Always good to have options. Now, I have to admit, I saw that part in the instructions about erasing your old phone. And I got to be honest, it made me a little nervous. I get it. You know, hitting that delete button, even if it's just digital, it makes you kind of double check everything. Right. Like, am I sure I want to do this? Exactly. It's wise to be cautious. But here's the thing. Think of syncing all your data like you're packing your bags for a trip. Okay. I like where this is going. And then erasing that old phone. That's like actually moving out of your old place. You wouldn't move out before packing up all your stuff. Yeah. Definitely not. Unless I really hated that place. Right, exactly. Okay, that's a good analogy. I like that a lot. So we've covered the essentials of like the transfer process itself. Yeah, we're good on that. But you know, I love those insider tips, those like, did you know moments that make you feel like a tech whiz? Oh yeah, let's get into it. All right, so one thing that might not be super obvious is that um, direct transfer. Remember that? Yeah. 
Sometimes it can actually be faster, even if you have like the best Wi-Fi in the world. Really? Interesting. Yeah. Because you'd think fast internet iCloud's going to be the winner. Right. That's what I would think. It seems counterintuitive. <laughs> but um, think of it like this. When you transfer directly between those two iPhones, it's like moving like boxes across a room. Okay. I'm with you. iCloud. Yeah. That's like packing up all those boxes and shipping them, you know, across town. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes that direct route. Way faster, even if it doesn't seem as, you know, high tech. So direct transfer is like the moving truck that goes straight from point A to point B. iCloud is like, you know, packing everything up individually. You got it. Got it. Okay. Both get the job done. Exactly. But one might just save you a little time. Makes a big difference. Yeah. I also saw you had questions about pairing your Apple Watch during this process. Oh, uh, yeah. Because I love that the setup process tries to do it all for you, but I've also had it where it's like a little finicky. Yeah, it could be a little hit or miss. What's the deal with that? It's kind of like introducing like a new pet to your existing pet. Okay. Sometimes, you know, they hit it off right away, and sometimes it takes a little bit of time. I like that. Right. So what should we generally expect? So your new iPhone... It's going to try to connect with your Apple Watch during the setup process. All right. Ideally. Super easy. You bring it close together. They, like, recognize each other. Like a little meet and greet for your gadgets. Exactly. Bye. If it doesn't connect automatically, don't freak out. You can always pair them manually through the Apple Watch app. Yeah. It's on your new iPhone. Okay. It might just be a few extra steps. Gotcha. Patience is key here. Sometimes technology, you know, it's got a mind of its own. It really does. Okay, before I move on, you also mentioned something about, like, hidden gems within this setup process. Oh, yeah. What are these hidden treasures? Okay, so here's a good one. During the setup, if you double-click that side button, you know, the one you use to turn your phone on and off, yeah. it actually activates a shortcut to accessibility feature. Oh, wow. I did not know that. Yeah, it's super useful if you need to adjust, mm -hmm. like text size or color contrast handy right away like right from the get-go i love learning these things right like a little yeah. secret menu exactly you know it's all about making it you know work best for you you've given me so much to think about i feel like i can go into this transfer with my eyes wide open it's not just about going through the steps you know it's about really understanding this technology that's like such a big part of our lives i love that i feel empowered yes and you know what this whole conversation about transferring data, yeah, it reminds me of something super important about like our digital lives in general. Okay, tell me more. Hit me with it. We generate so much data on these things every single day. Photos, messages, notes. It's a lot if you think about it. It's a ton. And this whole transfer process, it's a good reminder that backing up our phones. Yeah. Crucial. So true. It's easy to forget about until you really need it. Right. Out of sight, out of mind. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, as they say. Think of regular backups as like an insurance policy. I like that. For your digital life. For all that data. Exactly. Yeah. Whether you use iCloud, backup to your computer, whatever your method is. Yeah. Peace of mind. Total peace of mind. It's not just about like moving to a new phone. Right. It's about protecting what you already have. 100%. And... You know, technology is always changing, right? There's always going to be a new iPhone around the corner. Always. But the stuff we talked about today, these basics, these apply no matter what. It's like learning the rules of the road. You can drive any car. Exactly. Love that. Don't be afraid to explore those settings on your new phone. Play around a little. Exactly. You got this. This has been amazing. It's been fun. Thank you so much. You've given us so much to think about. Not just the little steps, but the bigger picture stuff, too. Of course. Any final words of wisdom as our listeners embark on their iPhone 16 journey? Stay curious, my friend. Tech can feel kind of intimidating, but the more you understand it, the more it works for you. You got it. And hey, if you get stuck, you know where to find us. That's right. We are your tech guides, always down to dive deep. Thanks for joining us on this little digital adventure. And until next time, happy transferring.